KZ Guy 2 here tonight, finishing up the top end on this Rhino 660. And I wanted to show you some information on setting the timing chain on it. Consider dropping in the thumbs up or subscribing if it helps you. And if you want to see the full video on this Rhino, uh, head over to my channel, No Nonsense, Know How, if you want to see that. Let's begin over here. You want to make sure you have your piston located around top dead center. So take your spark plug out and make sure on that. And that your timing chain is going all the way down to that gear. If it jumps off the gear on the bottom, you're going to have to get there with a long screwdriver. And just make sure it's on there. You got both your timing guides in. And now I'll come over here and you got to remove this uh, air duct. So it's got five 10 millimeter screws holding it on right over top of here. And then inside of there, you're going to find a plastic screw cap like this. Remove that from right here. And then inside there, you should see some marks if you're near top dead center. This engine rotates counterclockwise if you're looking at it from the passenger side. So that's the first mark that you're going to see. And that is uh, basically a firing timing mark. Rotate a little bit past that and boom, right there is top dead center. I slightly wedged the paper towel in between the cover and the fan so that it'll kind of stay in place. And then you're ready to drop your cam in. Now these lobes should be facing down and this punch and that punch should be level. You gotta focus on that. This one and that one should be level with the surface of the top of the head. So let me drop that in and I'll show you. All right, so once you drop it in, you have plenty of slack to jump one tooth at a time until you get it right. But keep in mind that this side is going to be the tensioned side. So basically roll your cam rolling back. And you can see that punch is lined up with the surface. And I don't know if I'll be able to get you a view of the other one. But uh, let's see. There it is. Yeah, it's back there. It's covered in oil. So, yeah, looks good. Once you have it there, go back down, take your paper out, and recheck this mark. Make sure that looks good. Okay, great. Looking pretty good there. And now you can quite simply push your finger in here to take the slack out, hold the cam down, and then, yeah, look at your marks. As long as they're good, you should be in good shape. I'm going to put it back together now. When you're ready to put the tensioner in, you take the 10 millimeter off the back. You can see it says up right there. And then all you do is, I'm trying to do this one hand, but... Drop her in like that. And easier with two hands, but you twist the flathead in here all the way till it bottoms out, then tighten your screws down and snap off of that and let it spring down. Done deal. I, I didn't read the book, so I can't tell you that's the straight pr procedure, but I looked up the marks and that's the method that I use. So hopefully it helps out. Drop it a thumbs up if it, up if it did. And uh, if I did something wrong, you know, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, quick tip for you. If you're having trouble shifting, go and pull this little cover off these 8mm bolts because my gears were so rusted and chewed away. I went ahead and ordered new ones, but look, that's what the gears are supposed to look like. And they are worn down to nothing. So it was about 40 50 bucks for a new, uh, two new gears from Yamaha for that. 